This week, we're at Samson State Park. Which is located right outside of Geneva, New York on Seneca Lake. That's right. So we're camping here for a few days and we're going to show you around. It's got a lot of history. It used to be a naval base and an Air Force base. So we'll show you some of the history and some of the park. Come on. We're at Samson State Park. It is just south of Geneva, New York, and it's on Seneca Lake. And Seneca Lake is one of the Finger Lakes. It's actually the largest of the Finger Lakes. Isn't it the deepest too? It's also the deepest. There's Some people say that it's bottomless because it's so deep, but there, there's a bottom. Because otherwise water would fall out the other end. Well, that's true. Yeah, but it's no, it's considered to be at least 600 feet deep. Wow. At the center. Through the whole, oh, at the center. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, you know, V-shaped because it's it's the mountains from each side coming down. Okay. Yeah. We're camping here for, till the end, till Friday. Yeah, so, so we're here for a few days, four right, days. Right, We didn't want to be in the crowds that usually um, come to campgrounds on the weekend. Although it seems to be pretty full. Yeah, I'd say it's 80% full or so. I think there were, we saw a few empty sites in our loop, but not many. Yeah. And I imagine the other loops are probably about the same. All right. So. Well, it is summertime and, you know, during the virus here. And it, it's good because there's quite a bit of different d distance between each campsite. And we notice the people down at the beach, they do have a small beach and swimming area. And it's nice because they do have a lifeguard, but everybody seems to be social distancing. Yeah, and, you know, there is a mask rule here. Um, it seems to be mostly people wearing them when they're either in groups of you know strangers or definitely when they go inside any of the buildings they always wear a mask mm -hmm. um, as far as just walking around if you can stay six feet from other people that seems to be all right right and yeah. that seems to be pretty easy to do if you walk along the paths and such you know if you see somebody coming the other way most likely you can you know spread out to you know and avoid being right on top of other people right Right now we're on a walk with our two dogs and have stopped to rest under some shade for a little bit. Yeah. But this is a nice campground. The, I don't know, there's, we're campsite 145, so there's gotta be a, I think we're loop four, there's a loop five. So there's probably close to 200 campsites here. Mm -hmm. um, they're all just electric only, no water, and they're all just 30 amp, no 50 amp. Um, and that's within the state park part of the campground. Now this is kind of unique in that there's actually a private campground inside the state park and those sites are full hookup and they are considerably more expensive and they do have a minimum stay. From what we've been told they're closer to $80 a night and you have to stay 15 days or longer but they do run them seasonally and it seems to be most of the people that are in that area are seasonal. Right. And they also do have some, what looks like, tiny homes that you can rent. We haven't been inside, but from the outside, they look pretty nice. Right, and that's in the, um, the private section, uh, the private managed section of the park. It's not private in that you can't walk through it. We did walk through it, and I'm going to show you some video of it. But it is a privately managed section, and they also, have, they also manage the marina down here where you can launch your boat or... You can actually rent a pontoon boat and take it out on the lake. 
Um, within the state park, they do have 10 cabins that they've recently built, and they're really looks looks like to be very luxurious. Mm -hmm. um, big windows overlooking the lake, and and they're one and two bedrooms with you know basically like a wall of windows on one side and um, porches on the water side and such. So right. they look right. pretty sharp. There is a museum here. Um, it is managed by um, veterans, World War II veterans, I think, or I don't know, maybe not World War II veterans anymore, but they are military veterans um, manage the uh, museum here, and it's dedicated to the people who actually came to this area. This state park during World War II was a naval training base. The sign behind me points out that Sampson State Park used to be a naval training base during World War II, and 400 thousand sailors and waves were trained here in preparation for World War II. So the museum is dedicated to the people that were trained here and then there was a Seneca Air Force Base here. During the Korean War, Samson State Park was repurposed as an Air Force training base and over 300,000 airmen received their basic training here. And that was from 1950 to 1958 uh, that they had the Air Force Base and then after that there was an army depot across the street from here for a number of years. I think that closed um, in the early 2000s. Yeah, because yeah, the last time we were here, they still had the army depot across the road. Yep. Like I said, it's been 25 years since the last time we were here. Yeah. And and some of the park has, hasn't changed. You know, typical state parks or state managed property. You know, a lot of it doesn't change, but a lot of it has. Um, right. I mean, the park is very well kept up. The lawns are, you know, uh, well manicured. The trees have certainly grown up since we were here the last time. Yeah. And But it is a really nice park. Yeah, it is one of the nicer ones in New York State. That's right. one of the reasons why we like coming here. Right. I did notice that the museum is open Wednesday through Sunday, so maybe we can get there tomorrow or Thursday. Considering, you know, we are in a pandemic, there's a lot open here. Yeah. The snack stands open. They have huge playground areas that, mm -hmm. you know, for the That's kids open. that are open. Right. Um, the beach area is open. Right, and they do have a swimming area, and it's all roped off, so that's nice. Yep. So. And I think we already said they do have a lifeguard on duty. Yep. Yeah. And so. Okay. All right. Well, we have to show you our campsite next. Right. And hopefully the dogs have not fallen asleep. Yeah. So this is our campsite. 145. Loop 4. Here's the electric. As you can see it's on the wrong side of the trailer so I had to run it across. Give you a perspective of where the next campsite is. There's a right over past this tree there's a campsite. So it's a probably 50 feet or so between each site. Plenty of room. It is on stone, so it's fairly level. At least side to side is level. Up forward to back, it was a little bit of slope. But nothing to, you wouldn't expect. So we're heading into the Sampson Museum here, Sampson Memorial Museum, and it's here on the grounds of Sansom State Park. It was a World War II training facility for the U.S. Navy, and then during the Korean War, it was a training facility for the U.S. Air Force. So it's got a little bit of a history here, and we're gonna go check it out. Okay, you can't take video, just uh, still photos. Right, so we will show you some pictures of our walk through there, but no video, unfortunately.
All right, so we just toured the Sampson uh, Museum here at Sampson State Park. And what would you think? I thought it was really neat. Um, I guess I wasn't aware that it was also a base for the Air Force. I thought it was just um, Army. No, yeah. Navy. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, so it was a Navy training base during World War II. And it during then after World War II, it kind of sat in limbo. Um, but then the military opened it up during the Korean War for a number of years as an Air Force base. Okay. Yeah. It had a lot of, I mean, there's a lot to read, a lot of memorabilia. Um, unfortunately, there are some rooms that you really, you can't go into because of the COVID. Right. But, uh, yeah. But you can still see quite a bit of it. Right. Yeah, it right. wasn't that limited, but right. it was nice. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah. A lot of pictures. A lot of different artifacts so yeah it was very interesting yep yeah we enjoyed it so definitely worth stopping at while you're here at the um, campground part of our tour of the Samson State Park area takes us to the Samson Veterans Memorial Cemetery here that was recently opened in 2011 and it is the final resting place of a number of veterans from World War II in Korea that served and probably trained at the Samson Naval and Air Force Base. We'll take you back now and, and show you the cemetery. Day at Samson State Park. It was great. It was good to get out of the house and away for a few days. It was a lot of fun. So, what'd you think of Samson Park after you hadn't been there for 25 years? Um, it's very nice. Uh, it's well maintained. The campsites are you know, good distance apart, so yeah. you don't have to worry about social distancing. But, you know, it was a good week. We did have rain, which is good. Uh, unfortunately, it did cut down on the humidity. Hot and humid most of the week. Yeah, so uh, it seemed when it did rain, it just got more humid. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a nice day. Like I said, it was uh, great to be able to get away and get out of the house. So, well, let's see, we haven't been camping since in March. Yep. So, yeah. Well, this is where we're going to end this week's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the notification button so that you get notified when we post new videos. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you come along with our journey. Until the next time, we will see you down the road. Take care, everybody.